guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I'm out in the woods today and I thought I would give you a quick look at this. Now this is the Kershaw Buck Commander folding saw. Um, I am giving this away as part of my 5,000 sub giveaway um, and I said I'd give it a quick test run first just because I was interested to see how it would work, whether how it performs, um, certainly how it conforms against things like the Baco Laplander which is kind of the, the quintessential bushcraft saw. Now it's similar size um, where are we? Yeah, it's a similar size, it's a similar weight. Um, I'll put some specs up on the screen for you. It's a nice little saw. It's got a rubberized handle. Um, you know, you've got a little button down here, similar to what you've got with the backhoe. So it locks in place here. You press the button, it opens, and then it locks in place again. Um, now, what I have noticed straight off is that the blade is quite a bit thinner than the backhoe. Um, is that going to be a problem? I don't really know. I use silkies quite a lot. Silkies are a reasonably reasonable amount thinner than the um, than the backo as well. So we will see. But I've got a little log here next to me, or a little little fallen branch. You know, it's kind of starting to go a little bit but it's still sort of the sort of thing I would be using for maybe firewood um, or maybe even a bit of carving though this might be a bit too far gone but I just want to kind of see very quickly how this uh, saw performs. And do you know what for something that kind of thick it cuts pretty quickly, you know, these, this, if I get rid of all this sawdust on here, you know, the teeth on this are pretty good, they're nice and sharp. Um, and what I maybe I'll do, I'll bring the camera around a little bit and I think we'll have a look at this in a little bit closer detail when it's cutting. So there you go guys, I've got you about as close as I can get to where we're going to be cutting without knocking my camera over. Um, and really I just wanted to give you a quick demo close up of how well this cuts. And there we go guys, you know, a nice quick cut. I mean, what's this? This is about three and a half, four inches, this bit of wood. It's gone through nice and easily. And if I was using this for something like firewood or something like that, you know, I can sit there and I can, I can I'm can, quite happy to sit there, use this all day for, for making my firewood, for spoon blanks, you know, that kind of thing. So there you go guys, this was meant to be a really, really short sort of mini review video um, just to test out this saw. I really like it. Um, I'm hoping that the uh, the winner of the giveaway later, uh, that later this month, is also going to really, really like it. Um, you know, personally, you know, it's a nice saw. It's a good size for sort of putting in your pocket, putting in your pack. Um, you know, it certainly performs in my mind as well as the backhoe. Um, and interestingly, this was actually about two or three pounds cheaper, I think, than the backhoe, uh, which is kind of what drew me to it. Um, you know, I wanted to give it a try um, myself, um, just to test it out before giving it away, just to make sure it was a decent saw. You know, I don't, I don't want to pass on something that's tat. Um, but actually, I really like it. The rubberized handle feels really nice. Um, you know, you get a lot of good grip on it. Um, you know, the saw cuts really, really well. You know, this is a little bit punky, this piece of wood, um, but you know, it, I've got no doubt in my mind it will cut through green wood um, or nice dry seasoned wood um, for sort of fires and things just as easily. Um, so this is the Kershaw Buck Commander. Really, really nice little saw in my opinion, so certainly for the short time I've been using it. Um, and this will be winging its way to my giveaway winner once I make the draw. So that's it for today, guys. Hope it's given you something to think about. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys. Yeah.